Hello, everybody. <clears throat> How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano, and this is another episode of the world famous, the University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves, and we are coming to you live today. It is Friday morning. It's 3 a.m. in the morning, ladies and gents. You know how that goes. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. We got to record this show. And we got to get going. Ladies and gents, how are you? I'm going to close out the week with a great episode. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about what is your marketing message? What do you want to tell the world? Ladies and gentlemen, the easier, <clears throat> the more concise, the easier your marketing message is, the easier it will be for you to gain an audience, get a following, make all the monies in the world, the better your marketing message, the better off you will be. What do you want your YouTube channel to be about? What do you want your podcast to be about? What do you want to talk about? What do you have to say? And you want to make it clear. You want to make it concise. You don't want to make it all confusing and i will give you an example ladies and gentlemen the first time i decided to make a podcast i had a real dumb name for the podcast it was called the lousy driver at first now what is the lousy driver who in the heck knows nobody knows nobody cares it was a very dumb name it's very off-putting it's not clear it's not concise it's dumb so you want to avoid those shenanigans you want to avoid the cuteness you want to avoid trying to be cute trying to be funny um you know you want to avoid inside jokes with you and your friends inside jokes so for you and your friends we do, the rest of the world don't care about your inside joke so ladies and gentlemen make sure you have a clear and concise message make sure you come with it strong you know don't be vanilla don't straddle the vents you know all the marketing uh, messages we talk about on this show don't be vanilla. Don't straddle the fence. Have an opinion. Have something to say. Stand out. You know, a lot of times, one of the things that we make, one of the things that we do as a mistake for most human beings is we do not stand out amongst the crowd. We are happy to hide, you know, sort of be in the middle. You don't want to, you don't want to go against the grain completely, but you don't want to be, you know, going along with it so you just sort of hang hang back a little bit you know sort of stay in the middle and that that's not the way to be that's not the way to go you want to have a very strong marketing message you want to know hey if this product that you're selling is it expensive is it not expensive who is it for what is it for you know what are you trying to do what are you trying to get across what is your point you want to have that down pat and the better you have that down pat the faster you would get out of the gate Ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you all this stuff because I do not want you to get out of the gate as slow as I did. I got out of the gate very slow because I did, I did quite, I did not quite know what I want my, I wanted my message to be. Did, did, did not quite know where I was headed. I just know I wanted to go somewhere. You know what I mean? And that's, uh, that's, that's how I roll. You know, got it down pat. Got, it's gotten a lot better, but. I want you to come out of the gate strong. I want you to come out of the gate, you know, you know, quickly. I don't want you to get disappointed because, you know, so a lot of times, a lot of people, when they don't see the numbers that they think they should see, then they quit real easily, you know, because a podcast, um, anything, a podcast, a YouTube channel, no matter what kind of content you create, it's slow burn in the beginning, you know, it, it's going to take a little while, but then you're going to catch fire because you know why you're just going to be very consistent. That's the most important thing that you can be consistency, consistency and keep coming back, consistency and keep coming back, you know, but the better your marketing message is, the better, the better you have a handle on what you want to talk about, what you want to get out, the better off you will be. It does not matter if you do it weekly or daily. If you have a strong marketing message, then you will get down the road a lot faster than most of us okay and so i want that for you because a lot of times if you because listen it's harder to get a podcast off the ground than it is videos because videos people can see you people people like to 
I mean, just look at the uh, mindset of people now. People don't want to call you on the phone anymore. People want to FaceTime, you know, which, you know, as I've told you before, I'm, you know, not that I'm, not that I'm just an old man, but it's just the way I operate. I don't really like the FaceTime because I'm driving or I'm do I'm I'm with my child or I'm doing something that I can't really just sit there and stare at the phone for like 30 minutes at you and while we just talk. We can just talk on the phone. That's that's how I think, you know. Uh, you know, I'm you know, you know, people some people it doesn't matter the age, but some people, they like to FaceTime. They FaceTime from the bathroom. They FaceTime from anywhere. You know, for me, I find that weird. But, hey, everybody has a different opinion. But it's harder to get people to listen to your audio than it is to people to watch your videos. And that's just a fact. So if you want to start a podcast, the better you have your message, the more clear, the more concise you have your message, the better off you will be. And you will get down the road a lot faster than me because podcasts, videos, all this stuff takes time. You know, success can happen for some people in two months. Success can happen for some people in two years. It can happen for some in 20 years. It just depends. But the one thing that you must not do is, of course, give up. But make sure you have a clear and concise marketing message, whatever that is. No matter what you're trying to do, no matter what you where you want to go with your business with your content, with your life. Make sure you know where you want to go. Make sure you have your make sure you have the road mapped out, you know, just a little bit. You know, there's nothing worse. When I used to train people driving the truck, one of the worst things that I, I they they would do is I would say, okay, you know, there was a certain amount of time that they had to drive on the truck. And um the first week it's it's like a hand holding process. I hold your hand, you get on the truck, you know. I tell you, hey, make a left over here, make a right over there. We're going over here, we're going over there, we're doing this, we're doing that, you know. First week, second week, I I say, hey, all right, let's start. You need to start figuring out wh- where we headed, which route we're gonna take, you know, writing it down, you know. And in the beginning, I remember people used to write it down some, but then. As the more the technology, you know, the GPS and all this stuff, people would tell me, and, you know, I got started training younger people. They would say, hey, man, I don't need to write nothing down. I got GPS. And I go, okay, <laughs> you know. And uh, by the by the fourth week, you know, fourth or fifth week, they're driving in the front, and I'm in the back laying down, writing, doing whatever, you know. And then I would, I would, I would always hear somebody say, hey. Which way am I supposed to be going? And I go, huh? And I go, hey, man, this is week number four. You mean to tell me you don't know where you're going? We have problems if you do not know where we are supposed to be going, sir, okay? And there we go. But the GPS went out or something or another like that. And it's like, hey, you have to be prepared. You have to know where you're going, you know. You don't have to know why you're going that way, but you need to know which way you're supposed to be going. You, you need to, You need to know that, you know. You need to know, you know, east, west, north, or south. You need to know which way you want to go, you know. You might not know how you're going to get there, but you just need to know which way you want to go, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode. You know, make sure your marketing message is very good, okay? Oh, yeah. Well, let's talk about one more. Let's talk about one more thing before we get out of here. You know, let's <laughs> let's talk about motivation. Okay, motivation, people. Everybody now is a motivational speaker, and it's very annoying. Okay, it's very annoying because the only kind of motivation that you can have is self-motivation you know there's no you know you can watch all the youtube channels in the world about motivation about self-help but eventually you got to help yourself eventually you're going to have to do the thing that you want to do anyway you can read all the books in the world you can do all the all the things you can do all the the cheering the clapping everything else but until you take action 
it's 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 just it's pointless. So watch out for the trap of the self help, the motivational, you know, rah 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 six boom ba. Because that eventually you're gonna have to get up. You're gonna have to do the thing that you wanna do. And some people you're gonna catch on real quick. Some ain't gonna catch on real quick. But the point is you have to go for it. You have to just do it. You have to just do it and see how it is. Take your lumps and keep it moving, you know? Because everything you write, everything you talk about is not gonna be a home run, okay? It's just a fact. You know, every podcast that you know that you that you hear on this show is not a home run. Every idea that I have is not a home run. Every idea you have is not a home run. Every idea we all have is not a billion dollar idea. And that's okay. But make sure you are thinking Make sure you are doing for yourself. Make sure you are taking action for yourself. Do not get caught up in the self-help trap, okay? Because a lot of times, you know, self-help is the, the word, self-help, you know? And you want to be careful. You want to be mindful of you. You know, you don't want to go down. You don't want to spend $30,000 to go to the Tony Robbins event. And Tony Robbins, he gets you all revved up and warmed up. And then you go home and you do absolutely nothing. And now Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins, is doing messages from the Galapagos Islands with your thirty thousand dollars in his pocket, you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh I'm not saying he's a crook or nothing, you know, but everybody and their brother is like a motivational speaker and I'll tell you why. Most more people are now trying to be speakers and because they want to position themselves because it's easier to it's easier to speak and it's easier to sell courses than to actually do the actual thing that you want to do do. I mean, it's just a fact, you know. I see people now, my wife started sending me things about truck driving people and them trying to sell courses and they say, Hey, you you can start you can start a you can start your own trucking company. It it it's 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 so much harder work. It is it is it is hard work. You know, one truck you got one truck having one truck is hard enough. Then you gotta have two, you gotta monitor a person. It, it, it it's a lot of work, you know. People try to glorify things like, hey, you could just create an LLC and create a create an S Corp and then you can make millions of dollars, you know. Uh you have to do the work. You have to understand what you are doing. You have to you have to you have to learn things on your own. You have to study. You have to figure things out on your own. It, it's there's not a there's it's easy to it's easy to make money. I'm not saying that. It's easy to make money in the world. You know, you can you can figure it out. But you need to figure it out. You need to you need to you need to tell yourself, "Hey, what should I do? What can I do?" Because th- there's nothing wrong with go- taking a class. There's nothing wrong with that. But as I always say, I would be very leery of buying courses from people on the internet, okay? Go to your local college, go to your local community college, go to your local you know, if you see a course in your community, you know, and they've been around, for, you know, 20, 30 years, you know, uh, go go there, you know. But Joe Blow, who says, I'm 25 and I'm a millionaire, you know, and I got a course, I, I would not, I would not probably sign up for that. I would be, I would be very careful, okay? Um, but ladies and gentlemen, enough of, all, enough of all that. We have things to do. I know you have things to do. We'll be back tomorrow with the all-new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. God bless. And uh, as I...